I recently received my Halfway to Black Friday Blu-ray haul from Vinegar Syndrome. For a peek at the movies I got, check out the live chat I did with Hellbound a few months ago. I'll post a link to the video below. And please check out and subscribe to these guys' channels. They are amazingly talented and do some excellent work. This is my first viewing of the McPherson tape, a 63-minute found footage film from 1989. This is actually said to be the very first found footage horror film. The movie was shot on video and is presented as real, like the Blair Witch Project and Paranormal Activity movies. The title card lets us know that this movie takes place in 1983, so a film nerd is recording his niece's fifth birthday party. We get a lot of dialogue and people talking over each other, and it all feels pretty real. For characters, we've got the younger brother that's filming everything, his mother, his niece, and his two older brothers and their spouses. So the power goes out and the brothers go outside to investigate the fuse box. They see a bright light in the sky and decide to follow it into the woods. As they head over to investigate, we get a scene that kind of goes on forever with the camera bouncing all over the place. So they finally make it to the source of the light and here's where things get creepy. They come across an alien spacecraft and spot three aliens. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! <sighs> The fuzzy and blurry video footage really works here. It's really creepy and a very powerful scene. So after the aliens spot them, the brothers head back home, and the rest of the movie has the family terrorized by the aliens. There's a lot of creepy scenes that are really elevated by the fuzzy VHS look, which I really love. But there is a sequence where the aliens are outside the windows and you can't really see them because it's so dark. It would have made an excellent visual if you could actually see them through the windows, I think. The aliens themselves look the best when they're fuzzy and out of focus. When you see them more clearly, they definitely aren't as scary. But that final shot of the film, which I won't spoil here, wow, it's pretty creepy stuff. And subtle, too. The McPherson tape is a solid little film. It was apparently made up of improv actors who do a good job. The shaky and sometimes sloppy look can be a little off-putting at times, but it actually works here for what it's supposed to be, which is a family home movie that turns into a nightmare. The pacing does lag a bit at times, especially during the beginning and near the end during an endless card game of Go Fish. But overall, I think it all works pretty well. The presentation on this Blu-ray actually looks excellent for a low-budget shot-on-video film. As I said, the sometimes fuzzy quality only adds to the creepiness. The sound is also great and the dialogue comes through nice and clear. AGFA and Bleeding Skull are behind the release and they have loaded it up with some amazing special features. We've got a 40 minute Q&A with the director, Dean Aliotto, taken from a Fantastic Fest screening last year. There's a two and a half minute intro from the director, taken from the premiere back in 1989. We've also got a six minute segment from the 90s paranormal show, Encounters, which discusses this film. We've got a director's commentary track, and finally, a 2017 director's cut of the film. The movie is pretty much exactly the same, but it has an alternate title, new title cards, and some enhanced sound effects. The final shot is also jazzed up a bit. But honestly, the changes weren't really needed. The minor tweaks don't really add much and actually take away from the creepiness, in my opinion. All the special features are informative and cover pretty much every aspect of the film. The director also talks about the late 90s remake he did, which I remember watching on TV back in the day. Vinegar Syndrome has also included an excellent slipcover with this release. We've also got reversible cover art as well. So definitely check out the McPherson tape. It's good creepy entertainment and an excellent Blu-ray package. 